Hello everyone, welcome to MG Academy. The next topic in data structure is infix to prefix conversion. Now this conversion is almost similar to infix to postfix conversion. But the only difference is that if you want to convert an infix expression to prefix, first thing you have to do is to reverse the infix expression. Whatever the infix expression will be given, first thing you have to do is to reverse that infix expression. So first step we will write here reverse infix expression. Okay. Then second using infix to postfix algorithm which we have already seen in my previous lectures we have to compute the infix expression. So what we will do computation. Okay. Then third Whatever string we will obtain after computation, we have to again reverse it. And finally, we will get prefix expression. So here I can write again reverse obtained string. Okay. So using these three steps, we will obtain prefix expression from infix. Okay. Now let us solve this example for better understanding. Now first thing you have to do is to reverse infix expression. So we'll reverse this expression. Okay. Now while reversing, please remember that you have to replace the opening parenthesis with closing like this. This is opening parenthesis. So we'll replace it by closing and closing parenthesis with opening. Okay. This thing you have to remember. So here it is closing parenthesis. So we'll write here as opening then D then minus, then C, after that opening parenthesis will be replaced by closing, okay, then multiplication, then closing parenthesis will be replaced by opening, then B, then plus, then A, and then opening will be replaced by closing, okay. So this is the reverse string which we will obtain. After that, same as that of infix to postfix, here also we have to maintain three columns. Character, stack and prefix. Because we are converting into prefix, so we will write here as prefix. Okay, now we will start reading the characters from left to right. The first one is the parenthesis. So we will push it into the stack. The second one is D. So D is an operand, so we will add it into the prefix expression. Right? Same as that of postfix. Then minus. Minus is an operator. So we'll push it into the stack. Then C. C is an operand. So we'll add it into the prefix expression. After that, closing parenthesis. So as we know, whenever there is a closing parenthesis, we have to pop the operators from the stack until opening parenthesis is encountered. So here we will pop minus from the stack. Right? And after that there is opening parenthesis. So no need to write the parenthesis here and the stack will be none. Means here there will be nothing now. Okay? After that again we will read. So multiplication. Multiplication is an operator. So we will push it into the stack. Right? Then parenthesis. So we'll push it into the stack. Right? Then B. B is an operand. So we'll add it into the prefix expression. Okay. Then I will continue here. Okay. Character. Stack. And prefix. Okay, so after B plus, plus is an operator, so we'll push it into the stack. Okay. After that A, A is an operand. Then again closing parenthesis. So we will pop from the stack until opening parenthesis is encountered. So we will pop plus. 
So now stack will contain multiplication and the prepaid expression will be plus. Okay, and the last step is to uh, pop whatever there is in the stack. So we'll pop multiplication also in the last step. Multiplication. And now stack will be none. Okay. So this is what we have obtained using infix to postfix algorithm. But here it is not end. We have to again reverse this string. Third step, again reverse obtained string. So this obtained string will again reverse it. And now what we will get after this? Here I'll write it. Multiplication, then plus, then A, then B then minus c and d so this is the required prefix expression of this infix expression right so first what we have to do reverse then we have to perform computation and then whatever result will obtain at the last we have to again reverse it okay okay now we'll solve one more example okay so for what we have to do first we have to reverse this infix expression and while reversing we'll replace the opening parenthesis with closing and closing parenthesis with opening okay so this is a closing parenthesis we'll replace is at opening then f multiplication then e okay plus then D exponent C division B minus A. So this is what we will get after reversing the infix expression, right? Then we'll maintain three columns: character, stack, and prefix. Right? Now we'll start scanning from left to right. The first one is the parenthesis. So we'll push it into the stack. Then f. f is an operand. So we'll add it into the infix expression. Then multiplication. We'll push it into the stack. Then e. e is an operand. Right? Then closing parenthesis. So as we know, when closing parenthesis is encountered, we will pop operators from stack until opening parenthesis is encountered. So here there is only one operator, so we'll pop it. So now the prefix expression will be like this. And now no need to write this parenthesis, so stack will contain nothing. After that plus, plus is an operator, so we'll push it into the stack. Then parenthesis. Right? D. It is an operand. Then exponent. Exponent has highest precedence, so we'll push it into the stack. Then C. C is an operand. Then closing parenthesis. So when closing parenthesis is encountered, we will pop from stack until opening parenthesis is encountered. So here we will pop exponent and then there is opening parenthesis. So here we will stop. So now the stack will consist of addition and the prefix expression will be F E multiplication D C exponent. Okay. Now I will continue here because of the less space. Okay. So after closing uh, closing parenthesis, the next character is division. So the stack already consists of addition, isn't it? Now as we know that division has higher precedence than addition. So no problem. We can push it into the stack. Okay. The prefix expression will be F E into D C exponent. Okay. Now after division B, 
so b is an operand so we'll add it into the prefix expression f e into b c exponent b okay after that minus so as we know minus has less precedence than division uh, which uh, so we have to see which operator is at the top of the stack so top of the stack consists of division division has higher precedence than minus so in that case we have to pop division from the stack okay f e multiplication dc exponent b division okay after that there are a so a is an operand right and after that there's nothing so the last step is to pop whatever that is present into the stack so we pop it f e into b c exponent b slash a minus plus okay and the last step the third step is to reverse the obtained string so this is the obtained string we will reverse it and then we'll get the required prefix expression so after reversing it will be plus minus a division b exponent c b multiplication e f okay so this is the required prefix expression of this infix expression right so that's it for today hope you understood my today's lecture and if so then give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends